When working with sponsors, keep in mind that businesses do not owe you anything. A commercial enterprise's main objective is to make a profit. Whether to support various social projects or not is always up to them. There are two types of sponsor relations, a donation or unconditional help, and an exchange of funding for promotion of company's brand. Both options imply that you make a concrete offer to the company. For that, you'll need to make a commercial offer, usually a five to seven slide presentation, which describes your project, the marketing promotion plan, your target audience, the requested amount of money or product, and benefits for the sponsor if they decide to support you. First, figure out what company you want to reach out to. Do research on what companies have sponsored similar projects in the past. Browse the project's websites. They usually list their partners. And ask your local nonprofit organizations about their partners. Study the mission and vision statements of such companies. It can help you understand more about the company. Making your offer personalized is important. For instance, if you plan to focus on technology in your project, you can reach out to a mobile carrier company, an IT developer, or a phone company. This way, you will show that you've taken into account the goals and priorities of the enterprise. It is better not to send identical presentations to competing companies with different amounts requested. For example, the same proposal to AT&T and to Verizon. Rest assured, employees communicate with each other. The presentation must be as clear and coherent as possible. Know that you are not the first person seeking support from a big business. Their marketing managers receive dozens of similar offers every day, and they spend no more than five seconds reading them. Make them slow down when they read your offer. We recommend that you follow the plan below. One, a brief description of the project, who is doing what and when. Two, the importance of the problem. Avoid the overused, saving the world narrative unless you want the marketing team to have a good laugh. Three, the goals and objectives of the project. Four, the target audience. Describe in detail gender, age, interests, education, etc. Five, the main point of the project. Don't make 50 slides. Be brief. Your sponsor needs to understand the structure and purpose of the project from the beginning. Six, the promotion plan. This is one of the most important parts of your presentation. List all communication channels you plan to use. Promos, mass media, social media, or lectures. It is in this part that you have to describe where, when, and how much time you will dedicate to representing your potential sponsor. It can be a general sponsor, an official sponsor, or a sponsor of a certain element of the project. The most important thing. Write the amount of money you are requesting or whatever you want your sponsor to support you with. Before you start writing your offer, think twice. Maybe it's better to request equipment or other materials rather than money. This will greatly increase your chances. Another important thing is where you submit your commercial offer. If you just send a letter to the general email address, you may wait for ages until they respond. Call the company and ask where you should send your offer to. Once sent, ask when you can call back to see if the decision is positive. It's important to not appear obsessive but just to remind them about you and your project. In any case, prepare to wait at least several weeks for the decision. If you hope to get monetary support, think ahead about who the company will sign a contract with. You might need to create a formal business or LLC. Brevity, clarity, and elaboration of the project is what will help you the most when asking for resources. But also include your enthusiasm, positive energy, and your belief in the project's success. Do not forget to complete the task in the practical guide. Good luck with the next lesson.